Hello beautiful internet family, Dan A from DanceTube.tv and if you're new around these parts then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And this video today is extremely exciting for me because the Mavic Mini is now even more powerful than it ever was. It's now got full control over waypoints, you can set up orbits on a map, you can set up 360 degree photos, you have complete control over your missions and your flight path, and you can use Drone Link right here to basically set up any mission you want. You can chain on different missions, so you could get it going to particular waypoints, and then you could get it to orbit around a particular point of interest that you have. A really powerful piece of software. It's available for a lot of different drones out there, but in today's video, we'll actually be checking it out for the Mavic Mini, as this is the latest addition to their software. So we'll jump into the software right now. I will have a link in the description below to check out Drone Link. But as you can see right here, I've got a location loaded, which is the Cleveland Lighthouse. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a custom waypoint, we're then going to set up an orbit, and we'll see what else we can set up within the software, and then I'll go out to the location and we'll start the mission and see what the results are. I'm very confident that it will come out beautifully, and I'm excited to see how it all unfolds. So we can set up a new repository right here. And this is basically my plan for the mission. So I'll just call it MM for Mavic Mini, and we'll just call it Lighthouse. So Mavic Mini Lighthouse. You can set up a description here if you really wanted. Uh, you can either make it private or public, so then other people can use it. We'll just make it public. We'll create it. And then this is where we start the new plan. So I'll click on New Plan. I'll set the location as this little park here. Uh, it's going to definitely be away from people, which is the whole idea of setting up the plan right there. I'll call it again Mavic Mini Lighthouse. We'll go next. We then have full control over so many different options here. Um, you can have a look through all of these options uh, when you actually get the software. Uh, but I'll just click through here. And then you can see we've got a few options. So we can include from repository, uh, destination. We've got lots of different options. So the main idea is we want path. So we'll set up path and that's basically a waypoint. So we'll make the path start from over here, as I know the lighthouse is this point right here. So we'll make it start from over here. And I have a few options here. We'll make the altitude 125 feet. Uh, we've got so many options, so I won't bore you with all of that, but it, you can just see how powerful this software really is just from the get-go, and this isn't even touching the tip of the iceberg. So we'll press finish, and it will automatically set a straight path going across the actual lighthouse here. So this isn't actually how I want it to be set up. This is not at all how I want it to look. So I have complete control over that. And then I can have a mission preview to see how it's going to unfold when I take the drone out to this location. So what I'll do firstly is I'll right click on the lighthouse and I'll go new point of interest. Um, we'll make it a marker. So that now means that the drone will be focusing in on the lighthouse. That will be its main focus point. So we can just set that, that's fine. Um, and then that means that when I move the first point out here, for example, uh, this is where the point of interest starts. So we'll pull this a bit before my first point. So we'll set it there. So that means that it will take off from the park where I want it to take off. It will fly to this point, which is the approach point. And then as it starts coming to its first waypoint, the drone will actually start looking at the point of interest, which is the lighthouse right over here. I'll show you the preview window as well very soon to actually show you um, the visuals before you go out on the field, so you're not just going out blind, which is a really powerful aspect of this software. So we'll get it to come out here. This will be point A. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, we'll get point B to come up here. So there will be people around this location here, so we want to make sure that we're away from people and we're flying safely. Um, what I'll do then is I'll pull B up here, and we'll right click, and we'll set a new waypoint. So now it's going to angle around Cleveland Point. And then what I can do on top of that is I can right click again, I can add a new component, and we're back to this window here. So we can set up multiple commands. We've got you know drone command, gimbal command, all that kind of stuff. We've got lots of different options within here. And we'll just set up another orbit. So I've already set up a waypoint orbit, but we're gonna set up an automated orbit which will actually orbit around a particular point. Down here, we wanna click back on the plan and we want to make the automatic capture again video. So that means that it's going to automatically start capturing video. And then from here I can click up on Mission Preview. So I click on that, it will generate the preview, and it will take me to Google Earth. And then this is the timeline here. So I can press play, 
I can see that the drone's gonna take off from that particular point I've set it at. Uh, you can see the window here, what it's doing. It's just kind of pointing at the ocean, which is lovely. Um, so it will get up to its desired altitude, which is 125 feet. It will then start flying out, so I can speed this up a little bit. We'll take it four times. So it's getting to its first point right now. Um, and that's kind of where everything starts, where all the magic happens. So we'll go here, it will start turning. It will go, let me just skip a little bit. So when it gets to the point one, which is the point of interest, it'll actually turn the drone and angle it down at Cleveland Lighthouse, which is exactly what I want it to do. And then from here, it's going to fly around as I've set it. So let's just speed it up a little bit. And it will keep Cleveland Lighthouse as the focus point. It will then kind of angle up nicely because obviously the waypoint's a bit further away now. And it will take me all the way around to point B. So this is the approach for our third action. So I'm going to get my Mavic Mini, this little guy here, to do three different actions automatically. And we're going to see how it goes. It's going to be very, very interesting. I have to admit that letting Drone Link take full control of my Mavic Mini was quite daunting. It brought on a lot of anxiety and it also brought on a lot of excitement. It was comparable to the first time that I ever flew a drone, which was really exciting to have that feeling again as I've definitely become more used to the drone experience and it doesn't really bring on too much anxiety anymore. So that was actually kind of refreshing to have that kind of thrust upon me. So I pressed the start button and I just let the drone do its thing. It was weird to just let it fly to a particular point and then go over to a location and then just allow that camera to fixate on one set point and do its waypoints. That was really exciting and to actually watch it unfold was kind of surreal. I was just watching it, watching my phone screen and watching the drone and it was just doing its own thing as you would expect it to. So the overall functionality and experience with Drone Link was remarkable. I had no issues, it followed it to the T and it did a great job of following the waypoints and then executing the orbit and then following the waypoints after that. So it did three separate maneuvers, three different paths in the same mission and it did a great job. Now, when I came home and reviewed the footage, that's where it all fell apart just a little bit. Now, I don't want to completely be negative on this experience as I feel like it is still really early days with the Mavic Mini waypoint option and I know that it's going to be better as time goes on. I've checked out some other Drone Link videos and the footage is extremely smooth. But I will mention that myself and a few other people I've spoken to in the community have had some kind of jittery jerky movements with their Mavic Mini when they're using the waypoints. Now for me, this was definitely noticeable. It was extremely jerky when it was trying to go around the lighthouse. And even when I had it following a straight path, the movements were a little bit too drastic and it came out in the final video. It just didn't look 100% smooth. You do have complete control to plan your missions through the Drone Link web application, which is just through their website. Really easy to maneuver as you saw in the video. But also when you're using the Drone Link app on your phone, you can also set up commands and processes on the fly. So that's also a really powerful process. One thing to be mindful of though, is that you can't actually view back the photos or the videos through Drone Link. So you'll have to bump in to the DJI app or download the Sync app, which is from DJI as well. And then on top of that, the 360 degree photos and the time lapses will be a bit of a pain in the bum for a lot of people, but you can download Microsoft Ice. So I will have a link in the description below to check out that. And that's just an editor that allows you to stitch your videos and photos together. Really powerful piece of software. So I have a link in the description below to check out that as well. So that's the end of my initial test with the Drone Link web application. You saw the whole process. You got to check out the footage that was captured from this really cool automated plan that I had set up the day prior. So it's a really powerful piece of software because now I can go out and replicate that exact same mission and get the exact same result in completely different lighting conditions. So that's really exciting to have that full control and to also make that a public access point for other people if they want to do the exact same plan as me. I think that's a really cool community access. So I really love what DroneLink are doing. I think it's a powerful piece of software and I'm excited to see them smooth out the operation with the Mavic Mini as it's definitely a little bit jerky and some of the footage is just not usable at all. So like I said, this will definitely come as time goes on. So keep an eye on this space as I'll have a full review on the DroneLink application in the coming weeks. And I'll also have some more DroneLink content 
content as they add more to the Mavic Mini. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.